Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, Head of Content of WatchAdvisor.com and I have the big pleasure to take you on a journey through watchmaking with La Montre Hermès. Join us on a journey where we are going to show you how the carriage of Hermès is manufactured. We will show you in details how a movement is manufactured. Later on you will discover how the dials and the case are manufactured and last but not least how these fabulous, incredibly good-looking leather straps of Hermès Horloger are done. They are done by hand and this is a stunning procedure. So join in and have fun and discover the making of of the carriage of Hermès. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Our journey starts at the Vaucher manufactory that is located in Fleurier in the Val de Travers, located in the Swiss Jura. As always, the beginning is in a computer or done by a computer with computer-aided design. This is where the movement basically is designed. Brass is one of the materials used to manufacture the various parts of a movement. There are also different possibilities to manufacture parts. One is by stamping. You use a weight of 30 tons, 30 tons, 30 tons to stamp out a band of brass. For instance, as we see here in the picture, the anchor bridge. The second possibility is uh, to have an alignment of a fully automated machine that will drill and mill parts. In this case it is the uh, movement plate, so the machine will fully automatically insert uh, the plate into the machine and then start either milling or drilling those uh, holes and those parts out of the, of the plate where later on we will have the gear train, we will have the escapement, where we will have the barrel and so on. The manufacturing process is fully automated. It is programmed by computer and the machine can work 24 seven and produce one plate after the other one. And uh, as we also see, this is uh, the latest generation of these machines and it is not even using oil anymore. So it's all done dry. The accuracy goes up to 5,000 of a millimeter. That's pretty astonishing, but necessary to in the end uh, guarantee that the entire movement will properly work and function. Part of the efforts done to make a mechanical movement to become a real marble is of course the decorating of the surface. Every uh, metallic surface is raw in the beginning and uh, you have different technologies that can be applied to make such a surface look gorgeous. One of them is the perlage that uh, when those little round dots are applied on the surface, you see a lady doing it by hand. This makes the surface look better, even gorgeous. There is no real need to do that. That's just for the eyes. It's just to satisfy the look of such a movement. Of course, you can go a step further as Hermès does it, and you can apply the H of Hermès, the logo. And this is done in this case by a laser. The laser is programmed and the laser will now automatically laser in on the surface the H. But this is not everything that is done. Uh, you have then edges that have to be treated and these edges are polished so they perfectly shine and this is all part of the decoration of movement. You know that today movements have a see-through or the movement is encased in a watch with a see-through case and you want to observe the technology and you also want to see how beautifully these watches and this movement is decorated. Once all the parts of a mechanical movement have been conceived, manufactured, polished and treated on their surfaces, they are put together by a watchmaker and there is one specific particular moment. This is when the watchmaker inserts the anchor bridge with the balance wheel and the hairspring. And uh, by inserting the anchor bridge, 
um, and you will see the watchmaker needs some some movements to the left, some movements to the right. By inserting the anchor bridge, all of a sudden the balance will start to oscillate, and this is that magic moment when a wristwatch, or not a wristwatch, the movement, the mechanical movement of a wristwatch comes to life. Watchmakers very often tell me that this is a very uh, special moment each time again when they do that. You see, that is the less romantic part of manufacturing a mechanical movement. This is when those movements that have, with so much love, been put together, they are tested. And the hammer is accelerating that movement that is encased in a special testing case to 3,000 to 5,000 G. Of course, not every movement is tested that way, but samples are done. This shock is therefore done to simulate the drop of your watch in theory when you're not taking care of it and the watch drops from your hands in the bathroom down to the floor and this is approximately the force that will then in that moment apply on the movement. And testing continues and what we see here is the simulation of the daily use of your watch when you pull out the crown in the second position and you readjust the time. The entire test procedure is four days and it is simulating you wearing the watch for about five years. Also very important today is the testing of magnetic fields. In this case the H1912 is tested under the influence of a magnetic field of 60 Gauss and only then when the movement is withstanding this magnetic field and still functioning correctly, it is good to go. Of course, the most interesting and most important thing of a mechanical wristwatch is to accurately show the correct time. And to ensure this, a mechanical movement before it is good to go for the encasing it has to be tested in a period of 48 hours. And this is no longer done by hand, but with that state-of-the-art machinery you see in the pictures in that chamber. There is a robot arm and the robot arm is taking care of its movements and uh, the movements are wound, so a simulation of uh, you wearing the movement, then the movements do rest and the movements are brought in different positions and the accuracy of the movement is being tested. So only then, when all the requirements given by Boshi in this case are fulfilled, this movement is released and may be shipped then to be encased into its proper case. And this is the next thing we're going to show you, the manufacturing of the cases and the dials, everything else you need to finally, of course, accomplish the entire carriage watch from Hermes. Thanks for watching. If you like what we are doing, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. See you very soon. Thank you.